Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video and today I bring to you the Nintendo Switch Super Nintendo shell replacement by Extreme Rate. So this is a really cool product that I'm so excited to put onto my Nintendo Switch. So what it is, it's a shell replacement for the back of the Switch and for your Joy-Cons and it really adds a cool Super Nintendo look and vibe to your otherwise bland Nintendo Switch. So thank you so much to Extreme Rate for sending this to me. So according to their Amazon page, it looks like it takes about four hours to assemble the Joy-Cons and the Nintendo Switch back. And it does come with all the tools you need. There is links in the description if you guys want to get a new shell and spice your Nintendo Switch up like I'm about to do. They say it takes about eh, four hours or so. I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm not a super big hardware guy. so. Alright, so before we get into building it, let's see what Extreme Rate has included in the box. So... We get two layers of awesomeness here. So we get the actual back plate here that will go on the back of the Nintendo Switch. Gonna look way, way cooler than the traditional back plate, especially mine. As you can see in the light, it's kind of beat up. It also has a one year warranty sticker in the uh, style of a Game Boy, which is really cool. So if you have defects or anything like that, it looks like got some good customer service here. That's, that's always a uh, really good thing to have when you're buying this kind of stuff so thank you extreme rate again that's really cool of you we get a series of buttons so which what is awesome about this is a lot of the joy cons you get are like black buttons so instead of having black buttons you get purple style buttons which is really cool you get all the hardware that you would need to complete this project I am really scared about this part, especially where it says four hours required. Uh, we do have this tool here, so it looks like we've got a couple of different uh, screwdrivers here that we can implant, implant, we can plant into this tool, put into this tool, tighten it up, and we're good to go there. And then we have the actual Joy-Con controllers themselves. This is just so, so, so awesome. All right, you guys, I'm gonna start with the easier side of things, which is the replacement plate. So there's gonna be a lot of screws I'm gonna have to take off here, so better, better now than ever, I guess. The tool just fits in absolutely perfectly. It's got some little notches. This is honestly a nice tool. I mean, for 36 bucks, you get a pretty nice little tool here. Try not to strip the screws like I'm about to do, you guys. Ooh, I'm stripping them bad already. So you guys, this already got stripped. Um, make sure that you can't even get the uh, the screws out. So my screws will not come out. They are they are in there, and it broke the tool. And I need to get another tri-wing screwdriver. So I guess that concludes this video currently. Um, I can't get this on until I can get a new tri-wing screwdriver because the the actual screwdriver is. It is stripped. Yep. All right, you guys. So I had to do a major cut in the video. I'm wearing a different t-shirt. It's a different day, obviously. I had to cut because the screwdrivers that I was provided are very sensitive. And I would very much note that, that the tri-wings are easily strippable. And I stripped it within the first two or three screws. It's a very soft metal screw. So I'm going to switch this up instead of putting it all together I've already got it put together as you can see I did have to go out and get a new screwdriver kit so I did go out and get the iFixit screwdriver kit which I would highly recommend I got mine personally at Best Buy if you're gonna disassemble electronics I mean it's a very good thing to invest in so I would definitely 
invest in that. So I went ahead and scrapped that whole sequence and I decided just to talk about my experience with this case and putting it together because I've got a few days using it. I was a little concerned because it's a soft touch plastic. It's a completely different material than the actual Joy-Cons in the Switch ship with. That comes with like a matte plastic. This is more like a soft touch uh, plastic. And it's really cool because the back where the SNES uh, power and reset buttons, they're actually slightly indented so you can really feel the buttons, which I absolutely enjoy. And not to mention the fact that the uh, actual buttons, they don't have paint on them to indicate what button is which, they're actually indented, which I would have preferred there would have been some white paint to be filled in, but I do like the feeling of these buttons. So let's jump into this, you guys. The Extreme Rate SNES shell replacement for the Nintendo Switch. Sorry this video is all over the place. It's been a pain in the butt, but not in a bad way because, and I ended up being able to get the proper materials required. Now, if you're not like me, you're actually good at taking electronics apart. You might actually have a better chance at not stripping these poor little screws than I did. Luckily, Extreme Rate includes replacement screws for all of them, so if you need to, you can replace the screws very easily as you go. And you can also replace them with a screw that easily is adjusted with the Phillips head. So definitely would recommend that. And I also didn't know they were sending me the Extreme Rate SNES dock included. It's the same soft touch plastic. And honestly, you guys, I can't put this into words into a video. You just have to see it for yourself and feel it for yourself. But it has changed the way I feel when I'm holding my Switch. It is the weirdest phenomena. Going from like a matte plastic that the most Joy-Cons come with with this soft touch finish, it feels like I'm holding onto a cloud or something. It's just so, just, it just makes my senses happy. <laughs> but um, yeah, you guys, I did kind of mess up. I didn't put the vents. I need to still take it apart, put the vents on. This is a few hour project. So dedicate yourself, get the time, have a free afternoon to do this because you're gonna want it. I did it in a couple of different days. I did the back plate first, and then I did the sides as I got my uh, resources ready. So these are two separate purchases, you guys, and Extreme Rate did send this to me, so I am reviewing it thanks to them. Um, but these are two different purchases. So if you wanna, if you wanna customize your dock, pimp your dock out, that's it's like $15.99 if you want to get the uh, the joy cons and the back plate it is $35.99 so reasonably priced I was actually going looking into buying this anyways so honestly perfect timing thank you extreme right <laughs> I watched a video on YouTube covering uh, replacing the plates and, and this YouTubers absolutely complained it wasn't from extreme rates from some other co company a couple years ago and complained how much trouble they had getting the plate uh, reinstalled or installing the new one honestly I'm not a big tech like disassembler guy whatever you call them obviously I don't even have a word for it but I had no trouble after I got the right tools now one big helpful hint to all of you guys who are going to attempt this if you do get a screwdriver kit like this or if you don't you still get the included screwdriver but good luck they have a really small flat head screw screwdriver in this kit that actually fits into the tri-wing screws even better than the tri-wing screwdrivers themselves now they seem to get stripped pretty easily and i had no problem getting getting even the stripped screws out with this little tiny flat head so just a little helpful hint from one screw stripper to the other <laughs> And um, you know, I was looking into it like rubber bands and all that kind of stuff just to be able to get it in there. I was so scared I wasn't gonna be able to even make this video because I had stripped the screws before I even started like getting deep into this. But honestly, you guys, there are some intricate little ribbon cables you wanna be aware of and just be very gentle and delicate with these components because they are small. I mean, I've replaced phone screens before and dealt with s similar small components really not hard as long as you're careful and have good lighting and you're just being you know on the safer side of things but honestly you guys I would not regret this in the least I've been turning my buddies on to 
customizing your switch like this as well because it's not a sticker. I've tried the stickers before. The stickers start fraying on the tops and on the bottoms and it just becomes this big pain in the butt that I'm not playing my switch anymore. I'm now trying to put that sticker back on. <laughs> it's just like, come on. So don't mess around with the stickers guys. Mess around with the real deal. Um, if you've got the courage to do it, it's, I mean, I say that very lightly, it's not hard at all to do. It just takes time and a little bit of patience was, I'm not the most patient guy in the world. Thank you so much for watching. I am absolutely just in love with this thing. I just, I can't get enough of the feel. You just have to order one yourself, you guys, just to feel that soft touch, just to even feel that silky, silky smooth soft touch is just awesome you guys definitely thumbs up to extreme right right there anyways guys let me know what you think about this shell replacement in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching i'm trying to pump out some more switch content so keep your eyes out and i will catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams peace out guys